Liquid biopsy using cell-free DNA may identify tumor mutations and fusions to potentially diagnose the tumor type and its drug response. In contrast to tissue biopsy, cell-free DNA-based liquid biopsy offers a non-invasive approach that can be performed multiple times to monitor cancer disease progression. To isolate circulating cell-free DNA from a patient plasma sample, add 100 microliters of proteinase K and 800 microliters of lysis buffer supplemented with 1 microgram of carrier RNA to 1 milliliter of patient plasma. Thoroughly pulse vortex the solution for 30 seconds before incubating for 30 minutes at 60 degrees Celsius. At the end of the incubation, add 1.8 milliliters of binding buffer to the tube and thoroughly mix with 15 to 30 seconds of pulse vortexing. After a 5-minute incubation on ice, insert a silica membrane column into a vacuum apparatus connected to a vacuum pump and firmly insert a 20 milliliter tube extender into the open column to prevent sample leakage. At the end of the incubation, carefully pour the mixture into the tube extender and switch on the vacuum pump. When all of the lysate has completely run through the columns, switch off the vacuum pump, release the pressure to zero millibars, and carefully discard the tube extender without contaminating the adjacent column.